All right. Welcome back. Happy Friday. Something completely different today. Um, I'm going to open up this box of Panini UFC Donruss 2022 trading cards because I, as much as I love Pokemon, I also love the UFC. And I saw these cards. I thought I'd grab them. I thought I'd try something different as well. Something I know nothing about. So I thought, let's do it. Let's go. So, obviously, I'm still going to be back to opening Pokemon stuff ASAP, but... I didn't even cut that. This is the bluntest knife ever. But I want to, you know, try some different things. See if I like it. I actually bought a bunch of the uh, UFC Panini Prism ones. I'll show you those actually. Right. Because these bad boys are sick. Got Charles Oliveira, Francis Ngannou, Brandon Moreno, Josh Emmett. These are just the other standard ones. Boris Machines Cowboy. Another Brandon Marino. Joanna Yon Jacek. And Israel Adesanya. So I got some cool cards out of that batch. But these are a bit different, these ones. I don't know much about these ones. I actually don't know much about the prison ones, but you know, we'll all learn together. But these have like 15 cards a pack, I think it says. 15 cards a pack. Woo! Remember, always recycle. They are chockers. Look at those packs. That is serious. So, ones I want to hunt today is uh, obviously the big ones like McGregor and the Francis Ngannou's and the Kamara Usman's, but just for my own personal collection, I want the Volkanovski and... Oh, what's his name? Robert Whittaker. Whew, what do we got? So, these have like a bunch of different rares. I think these ones have some of them have signatures. Got Islam Makachev. Whoa, future champion, maybe. Gilbert Burns. Yeah, that awesome fight, fight against Hamza. Misha Tate. So I'm gathering these are like the standard cards. Just, hey, Voices of the Octagon. Mickey B. Michael Bisbing, former middleweight champion. Oh, Johnny Bones. I was about to say, Johnny Bones is the one I'm after. One of the, one, uh, blah, 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 one of the ones I'm after. Johnny Bones, he's my favorite fighter. Bit uh, controversial, but here we go. Look at this one, this Piotr Yarn one. Octagon Marvels, that's a sick card. I don't know what the colors mean, if the colors are rare or not, or whatever it is, I know nothing. Nothing, they're sick actually. I wanna look at the back of that one. That looks cool. Piotr Yarn. Had that awesome fight where he just lost to Aljamain Sterling, no good. Please, Herrig, she just retired. Aspen Ladd, Jeff Neal, Darren Till. He got injured, I think. Roxanne Montefiore, another one who's just retired. Alexander Gustafsson. All right, so these cards, not bad. They look kind of standard, not as fancy looking as the Panini Prisms, which I gathered was going to happen, but. I think it's more about getting the, uh, what's the, the Johnny Jones one, the Craftsman, and the Octagon Marvels. I think there's all like other bigger ones. Oy. Robbie Lola! What a champ. Had a pretty rough fight recently with, I can't even remember, Bam Bam. Oh, what's his name? Bam, the uh, Brian Barbarino, sorry. Oh, Bam Bam. Zombie! Jose Aldo. All over to Shira, Tony Ferguson, Stephen Thompson, Wonder Boy, Michael Chiesa. Oi, look at that one. There we go, the knee. Five second knockout, Jorge Masvidal. That, for anyone who was watching in Australia, it like cut out on the Foxtel. Man, that was rough. Missed it. Fastest knockout in history, and we didn't even get to see it. But look at this one. Habib Nurmagomedov. Octagon Marvel's pink border. Is the pink border good? Doesn't look that shiny, but damn. That looks cool, the Octagon Marvel's. It's a mad card. So, I have no idea about, like, values or, like... I know nothing about the uh, Paninis at all. How they work with their color, their coordination, but... Please feel free to tell me. Please feel free to tell me that one of these cards is worth, like, $20,000. Oh, sorry, I am burping. Jimmy Crute! Aussie, there we go. Go about this guy. He's, I think he's off injured again as well. 
there's always, you know, anyone who watches the UFC knows that, like, not a day goes by where uh, you don't hear about another fighter pulled out of a fight because they're injured. I guess, you know, that's what happens when you kick and punch all day, every day. Yeah, damn. So these cards are all right. They're not as uh, big and fancy as the uh, Prism Panini, the Panini Prisms. Obviously, they're all shiny. Ooh. Am I opening these cards down or are they upside down the back? Seems to be a Calvillo. Here we go. Augusto Sakai. I think he had a rough one against uh, Bam Bam Tuvasa recently. Amanda Nunes, former champ. Still the champ of the featherweight division, though. She is probably the GOAT. Arnold Allen. Valentina Shevchenko, current flyweight champion. Flyweight? Is it the right weight? 125 flyweight? I'm my brain. It's a Friday night. You might have had a few drinks. Calvin Catter. Mate, he's coming up. Dominic Cruz. He's one of my favorites ever. Mainly because he talks a lot of crap and, like, you know, pisses everyone off, which is great. But yeah. Charles Oliveira, champion of the lightweight division. Dude. This guy has had a great run. Also, the uh, what has he got? The most uh, submissions in UFC history. And what do we got behind here? Laura Senko. Damn, purple border. Is a purple border good? I have no idea. What it's like, what have I got over there? Purple laser. Is this is something of ninety nine. One of ninety nine. Is that how it works? I don't know. That's a damn good card though. Laura Senko, Voices of the Octagon. Look at that. So I'm gathering that's a hit. I think. I don't know the uh don't know the uh color the color quarter. Purple laser hollow. Is it a laser hollow? I don't know. I don't understand Panini. To be forever to understand Pokemon, how that worked. Okay, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Santiago Ponce Nibio. Rani Yaya. Amanda Rivas, Brendan Allen, Leonardo Santos, Andre Olovsky, still going the big dog. What a boss. Still kicking it. Oops, I put that Oliveira one. I've got to put that over there. So looking at the Octagon Marvels, that one's the, sh the Piotr Arm one is definitely the shiniest. So we're going to say that that's the good one. I don't know. Someone tell me. Got the production line. Craftsman. Voices of the Octagon. And I just got Jimmy Creep there because he's an Aussie. Got to support the Aussies. We want looking for a Rob Whitaker. Love a Rob Whitaker card. Jack Manson, The Joker. Stipe. Former uh, heavyweight champion. Probably the best heavyweight champion of all time. I think he's got the most belts from memory. Most title defenses as well. Brandon Marino. Main to random me upside down. For whatever reason. Alex Perez. Yair Rodriguez. Got a fight this weekend against Brian Ortega. So that will be a sick fight. Oh, and you got the Conor McGregor. It's just a standard card, but there we go. That's a big hit, that one right there. A big hit. Like, not at all. It's completely not a big hit. But, you know, he's easily, without doubt, the biggest star. Oh, damn. Here we go. John Jones. Whoa, got some other stuff happening here. John Jones. Crunch time. That loss is the most not loss of all time. He was killing it until, you know, was it the 12 to 6 elbows? Uh-uh. Not allowed to do them, buddy. But yes, John Jones undefeated. Just not undefeated with the law. Boom. Here we go. Zhang Wiley. Purple, flashy, flashy. Is that good? Tell me. Let me know. I have no idea how Panini's work. But that is a damn fine card also. Whoops. Alex Caceres. Daniel Cormier. Retired light, uh, light heavyweight and heavyweight champ. He was one of the only four double champs, I believe. Or simultaneous double champs, I should say. History. So... Awesome career for that guy. Just went to the Hall of Fame and finally admitted for the uh, to the um, tail shenanigans back in the day. Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. Old school. Laura Murphy. She got a fight this weekend against uh, Misha Tate, I believe. Armin S 
historic. Yeah, I don't want to butcher that guy's name, but I'm gonna. Michael Pereira. Mate, this guy. If you haven't watched this guy fight, you are missing out. He is acrobatics and all sorts of fun. He's a great... He's a fun guy to watch. A few more years away from a title shot, I think, but he is fun to watch. Up and comer. Cannot... you got to watch that guy. Colby Covington! The most hated guy in the UFC, but he is funny. I love him. Talks a lot of crap. Gets under a lot of people's skin, but it works. Great fighter though, Marlon Morice. I think he's retiring. I someone confirmed that up for me. Yeah, was rules and strike, rules and strike. That's it. Jared Cannonier just come off a pretty rough loss to Adesanya, but that's what happens. Adesanya is just that good. Dominic Grace, Davison Figueredo. He's the flyweight champion. Former flyweight champ? I don't actually know. You know what? I've forgotten where he stands at the moment. I think he's in arguments with the UFC at the moment. I could be wrong because I know there's an interim title coming up. Sean Strickland, rated rookie. He had a rough outing against Alex Paya. Paya? How you pronounce his last name? I don't know. What's this? What do we got? Duos. Man, I have no idea. There's like so many different subcategories in these. So what's these duos? Amanda Nunes and Valentina Shevchenko. What if they had two fights or three fights? I can't remember. Two fights? And uh, Amanda Nunes has come... Been the winner on both of the occasions. Oh, here we go. I don't know if any of these are hits. So if anyone's watching going, these aren't hits. I don't know. I don't know what's good. That is, they look different from the other ones and they're cool. Craftsman, Kamaru Usman. Welterweight champion. Soon on his way to being the GOAT. He's done some amazing cool stuff. He is just getting better as well. And Cub Swanson just put in the UFC Hall of Fame for his fight with Duho Choi. That was sick. Cub, what a boss. Put him over there. I like that one. Brad Tavares, Raquel Pennington, Angela Hill, Cody Stamen, and Darren Elkins. That guy just keeps on going. The damage, Darren Elkins. All right, we got one more pack. So yeah, that's good. I wanted some John Jones. I want John Jones. He's my favorite fighter, so that's good. No Robert Whitaker and no Alexander Volkanovsky. So let's hopefully this last pack we can get the Volk, who just came off an amazing fight against Holloway. Damn, what a trilogy that was. Diago Santos, Nate Diaz. For, hashtag free Nate Diaz. He wants out, but. He's a champ. Let's go. He's had some good fights. Habib, another Habib. Just a normal one. Justin Gaethje. What a beast. Daniil Dariush, another one in lightweight. Lightweight is killing it this year. It kills it every year. It's been a great division for years now, but it's good. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of up and comers, you know. You got your Tony Ferguson's about sort of, you know, might be at the end of their run. You got Habib retired, but the and Connor's off doing kind of stuff but yeah there is some that division is just still killing it caitlin chikagian and francis and ganu actually i've got a really cool did i show you that one i did the francis and ganu the green panini prism don't know if that's good or not i don't know how paninis work someone needs to explain the color system to me francis and ganu hey and retro series dan henderson Hindo, with that famous knockout of Michael Bisping at, I think it was UFC 100, from memory. But yeah, damn, Hindo. And what else we got? Crunch time. I am not liking these cards being upside down. It's ruining the vibe. Crunch time, Justin Gaethje. That. What a boss. He has had some mad fights in the UFC. Oh, we've got some hits happening. Should I be sleeping these? Bryce Mitchell. Thug Nasty. Oh, Chuck Liddell. Classic. Edmund Shabazian. Shab Shabazian. Am I saying that right? I think so. Cain Velasquez. <sighs> Rough. Not good. Not good what's happening. He's got some stuff happening. Free Cain Velasquez as well. Tana Boza. What have we got for the last one? Dan Ige. So not a bad hit. Didn't get the Volkanovski. Didn't get the Rob Whitaker. 
But let's go through what we got. Let's go through all the what I assume. Just drop the cards. I feel like these cards are way more fragile. I don't like cards with corners. Saying it. Saying it. Stop doing it. Stop doing it, sports cards. Everything should just be smooth. Woo. So I think these are hits. I don't know if they're hits or if they're just like subcategories of something. They're not worth nothing. Here we go. A purple border. Zhang Wiley. Laura Sanko, Voices of the Octagon. Oh, this is just the ones I threw in there as well. So Daniel Cormier. And the Octagon Marvels, Piotr Yarn, Orange. What is Orange? Is Orange good? I don't know what Orange means. I don't know what that means. Production line, Masvidal. Five second knockout, it's a sick card. The duos, Nunes and Shevchenko. Johnny Bones, Jones, the Craftsman. Retro Series, how many subcategories are in this set? Who knows? So we didn't get any uh, signatures or any... Uh, uh, what was the other one? Signatures or... You can get octagon slot pieces of the actual octagon in the card. Nate Diaz and then Cubby. Sean Strickland as the rated rookie. Johnny Bones as crunch time. Corn McGregor. Jimmy Crute. Aussie represent. Octagon Marvels. Charles Oliveira. Crunch time. Uh, Gaethje. Craftsman. Kamaru Usman. And. The lot, one of the lightweight goats, Habib, Habib Namega made of, and the Octagon Marvels. Well, that's it. That's the video. Thought I'd try something different tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to do other UFC or card related videos, let me know. If not, just say, go back and doing Pokemon, you jerk. And I'll just go back to doing Pokemon videos. I thought I'd try something different. But um, yeah, anyway, so like the video, leave a comment if you want, subscribe. Uh, I've got my Etsy store downstairs, or I've got my uh, social links for my Instagram and my TikTok in the corner, or I'll leave a link to them down below. Go follow them, help out, support my pages, and uh, yeah, good stuff. Enjoy your weekend.